Welcome to the McDronga YouTube channel. This is a video to show you how to create waypoints missions and to show that you can do it without actually being at the location. The waypoints mission I'm going to fly today was done sat in my own home using the RC2 controller and I'd never visited Clark Man and Power before, which is what you can see in front of you here. I wanted to choose a location that was fairly open with a little chance of crashing a drone although you can see some trees on the left here which were actually fairly easy to navigate using the waypoints mission so let's get into the tutorial and I'll show you how to do it I'm using the DJI Mini 4 Pro for this with the RC2 controller when you switch it on you'll be greeted with this screen if you don't have the drone switched on or connected initially you need to select connect to aircraft in the bottom right hand corner from there you then get taken to this screen and you need to select camera view in the top right corner you'll then see this screen uh, which is just blank in the bottom left you've got the map so if you select on that that will fill the whole screen i've blurred this out because i don't want to give my home address away and you navigate then by pinching with two fingers and zooming in and out and just dragging the screen across to where you're going to be planning your waypoint mission. In this instance it's going to be Clark Manning Tower, which is just an outskirts of the village of Clark Manning, as you can see here. To kick us off, first thing you need to do is select the waypoints icon, which is the wee squiggly line on the left side of the screen, which will bring this up. You then select either waypoint or POI, point of interest. First thing to do is select point of interest which is tap on the screen where you want it to be and we're going to make it the tower itself. It's then a good idea to adjust the altitude of the point of interest because that is the height that the camera will be pointing at at the actual POI itself. Now you need to start planning your waypoints. So it's as simple as tapping on the screen. You'll see that the number one comes up for the first waypoint when I tap on the screen. Then the number two for the second waypoint, number three, and so on and so on. I'll speed this part up so that you don't need to watch me place in every single waypoint. If you put a waypoint somewhere by mistake and you need to move it, you press and hold on the waypoint and you can drag it to where you want it to be. You'll notice that all the little arrows on your waypoints are pointing the direction that the drone's flying. Ideally you want them to be pointing at your POI. So select POI, select link waypoint and select all. Now all your waypoints will have the drone pointing towards the POI. Now we need to fine tune the waypoints by adjusting the altitude of each one. It's dead easy to do. Select the waypoint, select the altitude and use the slider bar to move up or down. And increase or decrease the altitude. You can do that for them all or you can do it for each one individually. I'm not going to let you sit and watch me do every single one so I'll speed this next part up. To adjust the drone speed on the waypoints there's two ways. First way click on the three little dots and then that allows you to change the global speed which will change the speed for every single waypoint to that speed. Use the slider bar just like you did with altitude. The second way is to go into the waypoint itself and just individually adjust each one by selecting global speed and then it'll come up with your box. You select global speed again on that and custom. And use the slider bar to adjust each individual waypoint to what speed you want it to be. Once again, I will speed this process up. You don't need to watch me change every single waypoint speed. I'm going to freeze it here and I want to talk about these two options end of flight and on signal lost. Both as a default are set to return to home. I'm not selecting them here, but if you were to select them, end of flight, you get the option to return to home, hover, land, or back to start. And on signal lost, you get the option to return to home, hover, land, or continue, which allows you to complete the waypoints mission. The final thing I want to talk about is how to save the waypoint. So the little icon on the left, which is like a little 
A4 sheet of paper. Select that, it comes up with this screen here. Highlight the text, which is the day and time that you've done it as a default. And you can then select or type in what you want to call your waypoints mission. Once you've done that, select the tick at the bottom right hand side of the keyboard and then hit the back arrow. Don't hit save because that will save two of the same file with two different names. The waypoint I actually used for this mission to film the video is the one that you see on screen now. It's not the one that I've just showed you how to do in the tutorial. If you want to see if this works, click on the link below and that will take you to the video that this waypoint mission flew. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. It's a massive help. Thank you.